side of the carburetor, normally there would be this plate. And this plate acts as your metering block. But this is no good for the setup that I have now because at wide open throttle, the supercharger is going to demand more than this plate will put out. I could order several different plates and try to figure it out, but I would rather have the same adjustability of main jet that the primary side does. So I've ordered this kit. The kit comes with new under bolts, gaskets, instructions, another plate, and this particular kit comes with another tube. And that tube is useful if you're using the 4130 style that has the external crossover. But this one relies on this tube right here, it transfers the fuel in from the pump directly to each bowl. Now this kit does not come with metering jets. You'll need to supply your own. But the instructions do say, if you look on this particular plate, you can see that it says number 21 right here in the middle. 21 translates to a 75 main jet. We'll take the two jets and make sure the holes look the same size, especially if you order it from Summit, because this is a problem I found in the past where the two main jets are in the same portion of the kit. They're labeled the same on the outside, but the holes were very different sizes. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and install this side. Now we have all the adjustability that comes with a Holly double pumper as far as main jets go, but for the simplicity of vacuum secondary. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.